It's just a story of greed. That's the story as former Space Properties accountant Eric Bastian tells it. He's detailing a story we started uncovering a year ago. No longer an employee, Bastian's giving us inside information about the business he says caused so many people so much misery. But first, their stories. It was a really hard time in my life. Many Richmond renters would call it their worst decision. Signing a lease with Space Properties was for them a broken promise, a mirage of what looked like modern affordable housing, but instead. I've been in apartments that have been covered in green mold, covered, the entire apartment covered in green mold. From the former maintenance man who said he painted over moldy walls. It was mold at the top up there. To the tenants who moved in after he did. Over the course of our year-long investigation, stories have come in almost weekly to CBS 6. The college student left homeless after a gas leak. They don't want to make any accommodations. It's just, that's my problem and that's it. There are many dead bugs back here. The recent graduate with a roach infestation overtaking her kitchen. Oh, well, they eat dinner for me. That's disgusting. Sewage leaks unfixed for days. A new dad claiming paint chips from an old refrigerator fall into his toddler's food. <laughs> Big man. Very unsafe and very unhealthy for anybody, anybody as well as my family to be living here. I feel that he took advantage of everyone he could. He was up to 16, 17 properties and they were probably worth, you know, 40, 50 million dollars. Eric Bastian worked for Space Properties for the past four years. He says at first the business grew and that the owner, Robert Owens, was a shrewd businessman who had strong motivation. Unlimited wealth and, and how he was going to get to that point where he would have all the money he ever wanted. Owens buying one property and leveraging its worth to buy another and another. Bastian says it was too big, too fast, and then the housing market crashed. Things started falling through the cracks and he just couldn't keep up. Bastian says that's when he started to hear complaints. This is where I fell through the back porch. Similar to the ones we had gotten. I think it is a slum, true scam. He says Owens wouldn't hire enough staff to manage the units and would band-aid problems instead of solving them. Bastian says the company started to crumble financially. It was like going into battle every day. He says that was because the company was shrinking moving from its Broad Street location into this smaller space in South Richmond. Bastian says a half a dozen properties were foreclosed on, employees let go, salaries cut for those who remained. But Bastian recalls even after times got tight, Owens earning an annual rate of over $200,000 a year. He also says tenants' security deposits were never held in separate accounts. Instead, they were put in a general fund a fund he says Owens spent from. We have made an attempt to contact Space Properties after repeated attempts to reach Owens by phone. Again, our phone calls to Space Properties were not returned, have gone unanswered. By written request and in person, we went to Space Properties to try and get some answers. He doesn't return my calls. We were told they had no comment. On Tuesday, we came face to face in the parking lot of his business. Mr. Owens? Hi, I'm Katie Beck. Hi, you're on my property. I am. Yeah, We're, you, are. you can ask us to leave and uh -huh. we will. You should leave. You should make an appointment like any respectable professional would do. I've been trying to get hold of you, you for a not, year, sir. That is not true. I have left messages. That is I, not I have true. video of me going you in your office. You want to schedule something? I'd love to schedule something. Really? Yeah. Could you, when can we sit down? Well, when can turn we the cameras off. We can talk right now. Mr. Owens and I did speak for more than an hour inside a model unit on his complex. He told me the stories we'd aired about his company were unfair. He discredited some of the tenants we spoke to by saying they were irresponsible tenants who didn't follow the rules. Owen says he does his best to respond to maintenance requests, but with a large number of renters, it's hard to get to all of them immediately. He says his vision wasn't greed. It was to give people with financial hardships a chance at decent housing. You still smell the mold. Smell the mold. A very different story. I told him about that. Than the ones we've been told. They say they didn't care. And different from Bastion's. Bastian says the business is struggling now more than ever. Lawsuits, foreclosures, and an IRS claim against Owens are closing in on his capital, making it almost impossible to run operations. We were to the point where he was rationing printer paper. Bastian was let go last month. 
He says Owens blamed the finances. There was a lien put on the payroll bank account, so I, th I think the walls are closing in. Bastion says most of Space Properties' targeted renters are financially vulnerable people and have little, if any, money to spare. He says they, like himself, were pawns, tools used for someone else's gain. He wants the story out to stop the cycle. It's just a story of greed and uh, you know, somebody thinking that because they've made a tremendous amount of money that they can do anything. During our discussion with Mr. Owens, he declined several times to do an on-camera interview with CBS 6. He explained that tenants often resent the role of a landlord and therefore dislike anyone who has that job. He says those who complain to us just represent a small minority of his tenants, unlike the rest, who are mostly happy with his service. We'll continue to follow this story. Katie Beck, CBS 6 News.